Today we're going to look at my Hoya collection. And Cliff's sister Linda gave me a plant when we moved here about 13 years ago. And I thought it was the ugliest plant there was, so I left it in the front yard even over winter. And after about a year and a half, I finally realized that it wasn't going to die, that it deserved to be taken care of. And this is the Hoya that was the plan I hated. I don't know what kind it is, but so it's about 12 years old and it blooms all the time. It has beautiful white waxy leaves. Hoyas are sometimes called wax plant flower. Wax flower. It's very pretty. I have it hanging over the front porch off the balcony. It doesn't like to be messed with. It likes to be stressed out, actually, sometimes. When you don't water it, it'll bloom. It has variegation in the leaves that I didn't notice until we put it in the greenhouse. And then this one is a Yeti. I bought it at a local hardware store. It was in a big, it was in a regular hanging pot, but it was very full, and I thought it looked root down, so I separate it. I got actually three pots this size. This one, and then this one down here, and it's growing to the pot. And it likes the greenhouse, because out of all the other, out of all three of them, this one's growing the best. And it gets afternoon sun. See, it's got all kinds of new growth. It doesn't have any peduncles on it yet. I don't think it's bloomed at all. This is a Hindu rope foia and it has a peduncle here. There's one here and I thought there was another one somewhere but I'm not sure. It hasn't bloomed but once and when it did bloom last year it didn't have very many flowers on it but this year it's grown it's gotten much bigger and then my friend Linda gave me this Hoya she didn't know what it was called and it's variegated but it's like a pink variegation in the leaves and I don't think it's gonna bloom this year it may bloom next year that may be a peduncle trying to form there, but I'm not sure. It's got a lot of new growth on it since she gave it to me, though. It likes it here. And then this is my royal purple. That's what the tag was. That's why they're called wax flowers, because they look waxy. Try to get them in the sunlight there. Each one of those opened up like an inside out umbrella, I guess. But there's one, two, three, four, five, five blooms. And then there's more peduncles on it that haven't come out. See, there's royal purple. And then this one is cinnamon. And it has not bloomed, but it has grown quite a bit. I can't wait for it to bloom. I want to see what the difference in it in the royal purple is. And then bought this one at the local hardware store. It has a few peduncles on it. And like I said, I've, I've learned that Hoyas do not like to be disturbed. They like to be root bound. Actually, I've decided that the Hoyas that I have, they tend to do better when the soil gets so eroded away that water goes directly through them and pretty much all that's left is roots. And then this is another one. It has a bloom spike on it. I think these are called Cornosas. And here is another one of the Yetis. It's a variegated too, isn't it? This one is a variegated one, yeah. That one has some variegation in it, but not a lot. 
it's like splotches and kind of almost like when the leaves get older sometimes they turn yellow but it's a it's got a lime tint to it yeah. where this one is definitely variegated but it almost looks like there's two separate plants because this one doesn't look as variegated and I can't tell if they're the same plant or if they're multiple plants that are in there. There's no point. But it's got growth right there. It likes being fruit bound. And I don't take the leaves out. I let the leaves just decay. It's an oak tree. so. And that's how root bound the soil is. This is nothing but roots. But obviously it's happy. <laughs> Here's the third Yeti. It's growing pretty good. I think they like the heat. But I'm not sure. It had grown to the pot underneath, but at one point, I didn't know if it was good for the plant, so I ripped it off, and then I realized that it really didn't matter. So, that's that one. And then this is the last acquired Hoya with Sister Linda that started the whole Hoya craze with that one in the background there. Recently gave me this one. She did not know what the name of it was, but it has a bloom on it. I'm thinking it is maybe a cross of the Royal Purple because the blooms look similar to the Royal Purple. And then this leaf here has some purple in it. And they're new. And then this tendril, I guess that's what they call. It's new and it's definitely got a, a new purple leaf. I have not um, been brave enough to cut this off and see if Should I could root Just that. stick it in the ground. Stick it in the pot. Well, maybe. See what happens. We'll see. That's how you find out. Okay. And that's my Hoya collection. You can kind of take a view of several in the distance and pan to here. And... Ciao.